Hello, graduate of the College of Education, Educational Administration, and Educational Policy and Foundations graduate programs. Dean Bill Hank here to congratulate you on achieving yet another important career milestone, the earning of a master's degree. That distinction places you among the top 13% of all Americans. More importantly, the achievement is a concrete testament to your intellect, your work ethic, your skill set, your passion, and your determination. It also speaks volumes about your professionalism. And in the case of a Marquette degree, your unwavering commitment to social justice. Although it's deeply disappointing to all the faculty and staff in the college that the recognition of your accomplishments cannot currently take place in the typical social and intimate way that only face-to-face -face commencement ceremonies allow. The intensity of our pride in you is not diminished in the least. We applaud you with conviction and exuberance, just in a different way. Regardless of which program you've completed, our expectation is that you will all now, as education leaders, go out and set the world on fire, just as St. Ignatius charged us. Let me conclude with the words I would normally have shared near the end of our ceremony this weekend. May you hold Marquette University, the College of Education, and the Society of Jesus forever in your hearts. And God willing, I hope to see you on August 30th for the type of celebration you so richly deserve. Thanks again for listening. And again, congratulations. To my good friends and colleagues, in some other world, right about now, you'd be gathering in the past Taps Theater to be celebrated by us. Well, that's not what we're living right now. But it's still a milestone. So let's take a moment. When you are admitted to the Educational Policy and Leadership Program, whether EDPF or Educational Administration, we selected you because we saw in you someone who shared the values and the aspirations that we ourselves have. We saw a commitment to justice for all young people. We saw an appetite for rigor and a sense that learning for you was best done in a community, in a, in a social interactive setting. So what do we see now? You've come together as a family and cohort doesn't begin to describe the kind of community that you've built. You, we together have developed kind of a mantra of high demand, high support. And now you don't just speak it, you live it. You were always that kind of person that um, offered high, high challenge and high support to the young people that you serve. But now we see you, um, really from the very beginning of the program, we've been able to see you grow in um, the depth with which you thought about that challenge and the ways in which you found to challenge and nurture students. And not just that, not just the sort of the way that you interact with your kids, but we've seen you over time have the courage to challenge adults and to press, whether it's people in your personal life or professional peers or even up the hierarchy, press people to see and serve and understand and yes, fully demand much of the young people, all young people that you see and serve you've become leaders. And we've seen each of you grow dramatically in the skills of leadership. But more importantly, we've seen you become adaptive leaders. Leaders who confronted with an educational challenge or problem see the complexities that may underlie it, the human dynamics, the systemic issues. They see a different problem. You see a different problem. And with that understanding, you bring um, solutions 
that are promising, exciting, surprising, innovative, potentially truly powerful. Finally, I've seen you develop into a group of people with a deep critical understanding of issues of justice, equity, and opportunity. Each of you has wrestled with what those concepts mean and how they play out. And each of you has examined the inequities in your lives, in your worlds, um, all of them that you interface. And again, once it, with, with that growth, with that deeper understanding, um, you have seen opportunities to act. And you haven't waited to act. You've already begun to act. And I must say that I see in you a hopefulness and a resolve that humbles me. It floors me. And I am so grateful to have been able to be part of this journey with you. And I fully expect to be part of your continuing journey and to see where you go and what you discover and who you become and what you shape. So, ladies and gentlemen, I celebrate you. And with that, here's this. It is a great pleasure for me to announce the master's candidates in educational policy and leadership, educational administration, and educational policy and foundations. Today, we celebrate Jessica Brady, Emily Carton, Colin Dillon, Deborah Forrest, Emily Friday, Shannon Izquierdo, Jose Miguel Hamarillo, Christopher Lorischke, Gina Lubanovich, Peter Merkel, Sam Nadalski, Kelsey Nowak, Nicole Schrader, Elizabeth Swarczewski, and Emily Wolfpool. Congratulations, Masters Graduates 2020. We honor you. I am so proud of all of you. I wish we could be there in person to congratulate you. It's a lot of work to make it through the Masters program, but you did it. It's so great. I'm so proud of all of you. Congratulations, and I hope someday we'll be able to get together, maybe have a drink, and toast to your success. Don't lose track, stay in touch. Love you all. Congratulations. Congratulations to the graduates of 2020. Asahi, Ed Leadership, Educational Policy and Foundation. You guys have done a wonderful job. You've worked hard, you've done good work, and we're proud of you. We're proud of the difference you're going to make in the world. So, can't be there to celebrate with you, but we are certainly celebrating with you in our hearts and praying for all the best for you. Take care. Hi, 2020 graduates. It's Melissa Econom. I just wanted to send a virtual hug and say congratulations to all of you. It's been wonderful having you at Marquette, and I know many of you are continuing on in our program. Again, I just wanted to say congratulations for all of your hard work, and I hope this next chapter in leadership is fulfilling and wonderful, and I know you'll all be amazing. Congratulations. Master's candidates in educational leadership, congratulations. We're so proud of your accomplishment, and we want to thank you for your dedication to serving as leaders in K-12 schools. Be the difference. Thank you.